LSU sees up the ball as we get ready for the opening kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Now he's scrambling. And they make the stop around the 41-yard line. And he has a huge game. Yeah, I like the decision-making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him, and he takes off. Ends up with a great run. From their own 41-yard line, it's first down. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He's at the 40. Inside the 30. And they finally push him out at the 24. You can see right there what speed can do for an offense. That's just a short pass, and he made something big happen. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. He's taken down at about the 21. Call it a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. You better bring it. Hey, check Mike 57. Mike 57. Let's go. Complete. Brought down. Nothing doing. No gain. That makes it third and seven. It's third and seven. Ball on the 21 yard line. Three down, three down. Mike's 57, 57, Mike. Set. Green 88. He's tackled around the 12 yard line. Well, this guy really showed some giddy up getting down the field for a big game. Here's an opening. Touchdown, Gators! Great call by the offensive coordinator. Big time play, taking that ball all the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run. And he adds the extra point. A six-play, 75-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play call on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Tigers, in talking with them this week, Kirk, is just interesting their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself. And I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time where he just Still wants to have down. a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I, I'll be shocked if they can slow him down. So we'll have first and 15 after the penalty. He steps out around the 22-yard line. That brings up second and 13. Gets to about the 24-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. And there's not much he could do to get away from the junior safety on that play. It's third down and 11 to go. Ball on their own 24. They come out on an empty backfield. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Let's see if the momentum from that defensive stand carries over to their offense. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He's tackled at the 36-yard line. 
So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against his defense. From their own 46-yard line, first down, Florida, up seven points. He's got it with room to run. They'll bring him down at the 46. That makes it second and two. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming, and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. Third and five situation. Ball on the 49-yard line. Once it all, going deep. Almost picked off. Number 11 was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and five. Let's see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. He really got a hold of that one. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. The Gators really took care of business on defense that first time out, Herbie. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change the game plan. He tackles him for a loss. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 18. And they get nice yardage on that run. Third down. Oh, here we go. Oh. Five wide. And down he goes at the 27 yard line. Fourth down, I'm coming as they go three and out. Excellent punt. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. They're ready to begin another drive. They come out in a goal line set. Tackled after a decent pickup. They're about four yards away here on second down. Florida is up by a touchdown. Brought down at the 45. Gain of one on the play. That makes it third and three. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike 57, Mike 57. Here we go. And he throws it away. Well, the defense stood tall there. Boy, the defense did what they had to do to get three and out and now get the offense back on the field. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Florida's defense really came to play early in this football game. Well, they've done a good job here early, but you know eventually this offense is going to start clicking. Let's see if this defense can sustain this for the rest of the game. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their mind. They just need to go out there and play. And he's tackled at the 30. First down. So at the end of one, the Gators lead 7-0. 
And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Three down, three down. Close the fight. Here we go. Red 85. Tackle at the 40. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Mike 12. Mike 12. And they hit him in the backfield. You expect this every time you're here, and you're never disappointed. This crowd is amazing. He airs it out. Leaps picked off. This quarterback better start making better decisions in the passing game. Otherwise, this corner will come up with even more picks in the future. From their own 32-yard line. First down. Florida is up seven. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Inside give. Hello. Nice to meet you. They're about four yards away here on third down. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass. And they defended the play very well in the secondary. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. Tackle at the 27. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with because up to this point the defense is keeping them in the game but the offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. And he's taken down around the 38 yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 38 yard line. And hard at the 35. But well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. He makes it to the 35 yard line. Third and about 13 yards. Ball on their own 35. One of the top stadiums in the nation. This crowd comes to play themselves. Gets it off as he's hit. Complete. He's at the 40. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 22-yard line. First down. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Tigers! Boy, he looked determined running the football. Nobody was going to keep him out of the end zone. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he converts the extra point. LSU's 
LSU to kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Fires incomplete, knocked away. That's a great play here by the linebacker sitting back in zone defense. Puts the linebacker in position to be able to read the quarterback's eyes. And I thought that time he got a pretty good jump on the football to be able to knock it away. Throws in a hurry. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46. Now he tries to buy some time. And he can't get away from the pressure. The pressure was just too much to handle that time as this defensive end was able to sack the quarterback. They came with a blitz, and this time it worked out. The quarterback had no open receivers, and he just went down. Catches it, and that's all. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. Ready, check, check. Stand right, stand right. Crosses out to the tailback on the screen. The Tigers taking their first time out of the half. zone down for a touchback a well, really a defensive battle going on right now so far Kirk well the defenses are flying around the football doing a good job I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan I think if I were the offensive coordinator I'd take a few chances be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play the quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again under pressure and they bring him down for a sack on the play themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Pretty nice pickup here. These guys are getting very tight on their timing. The Gators call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. Nice run there. And that brings up fourth down. Great stop by the defense. They played with tremendous character on those downs. Tackle made at the 41. They were lucky to prevent a big return there. Yep, that could have been big if he could have gotten a few more blocks and was able to find the seam. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Tries to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. Nice interception and an even nicer vertical. Oh, yeah, this guy's an athlete. There's no throwing it over this guy's head. He'll go up and get it. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 41. Mike 12. Mike 12. They'll get him for a loss. LSU's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country, and they are on their feet. Got a man, watch out here. He's taken down at the 48-yard line. First down. 
Aaron and Alcon. And they make the stop right around the eight yard line. He's hit and taken down. He's going to try and scramble. So at the end of the half, we're even at seven in this one. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. People say college football is evolving. It's completely an offensive game. Boy, not this one. This one has that old school, hard nosed, tough feel to it. Yeah, and it's it's good. It's kind of it's kind of refreshing. And I know the younger guys, you like all the points all the time, but it, it's fun to watch these kind of games because you see two defenses flying around. It looks like there's 12 or 13 guys on that side of the football making big plays, making big hits, holding the offenses down. In a world where we have all the fast-paced, up-tempo, scoring points galore, it's good to see some defenses bow their necks and play some good, pretty good ball. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. Well, we welcome you back to the action. Just about set to start the second half in a tie ball game. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. They go to the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. No that makes it second, and ten. second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25. the middle for a nice game. Becoming the 12th man, the crowd is always into it here. Makes the grab and steps out right away. That's good for a gain of 13 yards. That makes it from their own 42 yard line. It's first down. Makes it out to about the 50. That makes it second and two. That's a great tackle at the 49. They'll line it up again on third down. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. He's at the 40. Tackle made at the 36-yard line. Tackles at the 28-yard line. That's a deal. That makes it second. And this play is number eight on the drive. Mike Mike Here we go. They'll bring him down at about the 27-yard line. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. Ball is loose, fumble. The 
offense falls on it. This is the 10th play of this drive. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. A yard, if that, on the quarterback keeper. That makes it second and ten. From the 13-yard line, it's second down. He hits the PAT. An 11 play, 75 yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Tigers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Nice run to the outside. That brings them second and five. From their own 30-yard line. Second down. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. And he is drilled at the 39. That'll bring up second and 11. Second down and 11. Ball on their own 39. Let's go! Green 19! Check, check! Time! Runs in and he stops short of the last scrimmage. That is a loss of four yards. That brings up third and 14. Down. Down. The mic. Ready. Ready. Red 18. Red. Three. Short over the middle. Brought down oh. around the 35 yard line. Not much there on the screen play. It's a nice play by the defense to shut down all the lanes so this halfback wasn't able to make anything happen on that play. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. So he managed to get a few yards on the run back. Yeah, but I'll tell you, Brad, with so much traffic in the middle there, it really makes it tough to break free. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. And he's tackled right around the 38-yard line. First We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 38. Mike 12, Mike 12. LSU up seven points. Nice run, and he's brought down. That makes it second and six. He gets rid of this one through three quarters now. And still, the defenses are shining. 14-7, LSU. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. The crowd at this stadium, always a factor in a football game. He throws right. 
You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. So he got a little on that return. Well, Brad, early it looked like there was an opening there, but the seam closed quickly. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. And down he goes, right around the 26-yard line. Gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight, man, ball man, on the 26-yard line. Down, down. Mike's 57, 57, Mike. Right. Check, check. Motion. Motion. 98 motion. Weasel, check, 98 motion. Weasel. Motion. 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 Pass right, running back's got it. Tackle right around the 34. Taken down around the 42-yard line. So they need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. He might want it all here and does. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 46. Ready. Check, check. Snake eyes. Snake eyes. Tailback brought down for a loss. And that play was snuffed out from the get-go. You're right. It's a delayed handoff to the tailback, and the defense wasn't fooled at all there. Here we go, here we go. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike. Ready! Red 68! Red 68! Here's a throw, and it's almost picked. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. That'll bring up fourth and 13. Booming kick. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Less than three minutes in the game. Comes in out left of the running back. As long as they're making completions and positive yards when they go to the air, then it can't be too bad of a play. Second down and seven. All on their own 23. Yard line. The draw play gets maybe two yards. Third and five. Ball on the 25 yard line. This crowd can really be intimidating for an opposing team. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. It's a smart job here by the coaches. Making a play call here that really played to their offensive strengths. That's knowing your personnel. And they get nice yardage on that run. A nice option play. The tailback gets six yards before he's brought down. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Huh. 
And he tackles him hard at the 49-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. Gain of nine yards. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 40. Under a minute left. Tackle after decent pickups. That's a game of five on the play. That brings him seven. And this is the eighth play of the drive. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Black 90. Black 90. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. And this one's all but wrapped up. The Tigers take this one, 14-7. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. Well, this one really could have gone either way. Florida had plenty of chances to win this football game, but it wasn't meant to be today. All you can do now is try to bounce back after a close loss like this. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.